Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body old school for low. Purple rim, sip, sip. That's fam. So, I am Rappaport. Tweeted out about three hours ago. I'm a little late, but you know, you know, people got to work and study. So, I am Rappaport tweeted out Todd Gurley is going to visit the Ravens. He already visited the Lions. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, was it just the Lions? I think. Yeah, I think it was just the Lions. Yeah, so he already visited the Lions, but now he's visiting the Ravens, which I possibly believe he's going to be a Raven since he's a Baltimore kid anyway. But then that brought up to mind, well, what kind of deal is going to be? He automatically knows he's going to be the third running back, but he can be kind of like that – Um. I am so I am so sorry for for forgetting this man name already. Mark Ingram, my bad. It's still early. My bad. It's early, but um, it's well, shoot, it's it's nine forty something a.m. here, but um, he can be just at that presence. He already has um a lot of playoff experience. I believe he was in the Super Bowl when the Rams went there and stunk it up. I believe so. I believe he was still with them. Um, but that right there is, to me is great leadership. And the dude is only still, he's only 26. So he, he'll be coming into a situation where he already knows he'll be the third. You probably ain't going to get that many carries like that. So we got JK is one, Gus is two. Oh, you can flip it. Gus is one, JK is two. Both of them is dynamic. But to me, they just secure a little backup. They um, Justice is pretty much special teams player. Um, but I looked at his stats um, last year. I looked at his stats and what he did last year. It shows 678 yards out of 195 attempts. That's really not, that's not that really bad, actually. 3.5 yards average. That's really not bad. I know he's injury prone and everything like that, but with the type of workload he will have in Baltimore, they can manage that. They can manage that. And it's no telling, you know, how how our running game gonna be. Cause we're gonna have to have somebody somebody verified for us that third slot since Justice is a special teamer pretty much right now. And I'm like, that's that and how people talked about him like that that is really not bad with nine touchdowns last year that's really not bad for a dude that up and down and you think about his career you're like man he's so got so injury and he's all this and he's old but he's been in the league since 2015 i believe and he's only 26 years old that is really not bad so i, I wonder what edc is gonna do about and talk to him about for the finance part, the cap part. Let's see what goes with that. But also, I know some people is going to be, we need the pass rusher. We need the pass rusher. EDC is working on that. Patience is a virtue. Just got to wait. No, I haven't heard no reports about no Justin Houston. He could have, he could have told them, uh, I mean, they could have told him something of the same what they told Dez Bryant a while back last year. Hey, he could have been a little bit out of shape. Like, hey, bro, you're a little bit in shape. You come and holler at us. We, 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 we got you. So you never know. But but that Dez Bryant, you know, he'd been out of the league for some years and just Houston still. But you never know what people did in the off season. I remember a couple of times Terrell Suggs used to come uh, on OTAs and stuff when they were saying he was a little out of shape. He had to get back in shape pretty fast before, you know, the season starts. But you never know. But he's working on a pass rush. Patience is a virtue. Just wait.